to another video, guys. Today we're gonna be doing an install on my 2020 Lowrider S. We haven't done a little install project on this bike in a while. All the install projects we've been doing have been on the Dyna lately. But um, just just to just to uh, give you guys a little notice of what's going on right now, I had ordered this air cleaner right here from SNS. The black teardrop, beautiful air cleaner. The actual back plate and air cleaner were on back order for a while. Um, and it finally came in. But guess what? They only sent me all this right here. Um, they didn't send me the cover. So I had to reorder the cover. So that's gonna come in the mail right now. But for now, I could definitely rock out with this. It's, I mean, this is still gonna look badass anyways. It has a little cover anyways on it right now. It's gonna look cool. Um, but once we put that teardrop cover on it, it's gonna look super cool. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the install. Should be a pretty simple install, guys. I had done the, um, the Arlen S uh, air cleaner install on the Dyna not so long ago, so check that out. Today we're gonna be working on this baby. Oh, I didn't have made myself a protein shake. Hey, you guys haven't noticed lately that I haven't had any beers on the, uh, the channel. I mean, the fridge is, is, is stopped. I'm back on my working out thing again, so I gotta be ready for the summertime. So we're gonna start by taking off this cover right here. So you take that one off. Ah, that was only the cover just for this. screws to take out of there so we're gonna loosen these up all right guys so moving on we're gonna be loosening up this whole back plate off from the back stuff away keep it out of the way away from the newer items that you're gonna be using so we'll push that off to the side now onto this so just to give you guys a visual of what this is gonna look like just like that even that looks really cool man that looks really really nice actually I like that we'll loosen this up all right, so really quick, this also comes with the sensor cover right here, but it's, it's kind of loose. Um, kind of don't like the way it is, because uh, you have to screw it on the back, but it's still a little loose right there. Um, so technically, this just goes over right there, and that's supposed to cover your sensor where it's at right there. Just give it a nice little close-up shot. As you can see right there, see that sensor? Boom. I'm honestly gonna take this off, because I know that's gonna be rattling. It's not, it's, it doesn't tighten up all the way. Um, the stock one didn't come with a cover, so, oh well, we don't need this. Anyways, moving on, um, we're gonna go install the three screws right here, which it brings. And afterwards, we're gonna be um, installing the O-ring in the back. I got my grease right here, so I'm just gonna dab my finger in the grease. Um, when I turn it around, I'll show you guys exactly where it's gonna go. Um, that way, uh, the grease is gonna allow things just to stay in place. It acts like a lubricant, uh, making it much easier for you to uh, install everything. All right, so we got our little can of greaser here, which you can pick up from any local auto parts store. Um, this is what it looks like inside, it's just hard grease. Like I said, it's just gonna act like a lubricant. 
Um, the O-ring is gonna go right there. I don't know if you can see that groove that goes around the circle right here. So that's where this O-ring right here, where's the O-ring? Oh, there's the O-ring. So basically this little O-ring is gonna go right in there, just like that. So you do a little dab just like that, not too much. Put it around there. Now we can start by putting the O-ring on there as well. Put it in place. And just add a little more to this, just because it's still like a little loose everywhere. Once we screw everything in, it'll uh, fall in place. There we go. So you lube it up, give it a few little, uh, few little swirls to keep it nice in place. As you can see there, it's not going anywhere. So now we can turn this around. All right, so you take your big ball, you put your washer on it, which I already did. You're gonna put this through, and then you're gonna put a washer on the other end. We'll do the same thing with this one. So one washer on this end, then the other one on the other side. All right, so we're just gonna put the back plate there um, just holding up. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little Loctite to each one, so a little on this side, not too much, just a little dab. So now we're gonna head and tighten this up a bit, just to put it in place. Not all the way, like I said before, you wanna give yourself enough space, a little lag for you to just play around with the plate, just in case if one of the, um, the balls are not properly in place, you don't wanna strip anything. Okay, so those are in right now. Now we tighten up the smaller ones. All right, so afterwards, when you know everything's properly in place, you can just tighten everything up a bit. Don't overdo it. Let's go back to the big ones. It's nice in there. If you want, you can add a little Loctite to the smaller ones. Um, I didn't, um, I don't think you really have to, but I mean, it's your choice. So nice and tight and snug in there. So your back plate is now 100% on. All right, so moving forward, we are now moving on to the uh, actual breather here, which is gonna go just like that. This goes right over, just like that. And you're gonna take your screw, put this in there, hold it in place. Take the second one, put it in there, hold it in place. And um, we're pretty much done after this. Um, very, very easy and simple install. And um, just like that, you're done. I really like the look of this air cleaner. It's very simple, very nice. If you wanted to use it just like this, you can. I'm gonna be putting the, the teardrop cover that I want over this. Um, so hopefully that comes in within the next week or so. That's gonna look really, really badass. Um, yeah, I'm not a mechanic guy, so if I can do it, I'm pretty sure you could do it. All you need is a few little simple little tools, a few minutes out of your day, and um, and that's it, man. Pretty, pretty, pretty easy. I guess we can go ahead and uh, turn the bike on just to make sure it works. Yeah, it works. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you some little nice little cinematic shots of what uh, the bike looks on with the air cleaner. Um, definitely cleans everything up. I cannot wait to see, like I said before, with the uh, cover on it, it's gonna look sick. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe right now. This is my 2020 Lowrider S. I also have my 2015 Dyna Lowrider in the back right there, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something today. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.